Emperor Cut. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Hail to the king, baby. Damn, I'm good. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Incredible news coming out of The Boring Company X account. Um, the company has achieved a major milestone in its uh, aim of uh, achieving very, very uh, quick and efficient uh, tunnels. They have achieved what is called Z-Pit, which is zero people in the tunnel. So it's a fully automated process with no one in the loop. It does it all itself in terms of everything that's below ground. Obviously, you have a control room above ground and they monitor things. But in general, the machine itself is making its own decisions, overcoming problems and boring forwards towards its targeted goal. So let's have a look at that particular uh, X post. So it says, big tunneling milestone for the first time, the boring company has continuously mined in zero people in tunnel configuration. There is nothing in the machine, which is simultaneously advancing forward and directing a ring or ring beam. Each full ring beam weighs 24,000 pounds, which is 11 tons. Um, in the same way, that full and rapid reusability is the holy grail for rockets. Z-Pit, continuous mining, is the holy grail for boring machines. This is the safest, fastest, and least expensive architecture to build tunnels, which is absolutely what I concur with and what I'll um, elaborate more in a short while. But we will have a look at the video of this uh, proof walk machine i really believe it's a proof rock 4 machine um i think proof rock 5 is nearing um assembly and will be used on some future projects but this is still a proof rock 4 machine uh, if you know otherwise tell me but as far as i'm aware it's that's a proof rock 4 machine um one thing to talk about is that they, they use the term continuously continuously mined or continuous mining and i'm not quite seeing the evidence of that yet so it depends how you define continuous mining. Um, there will obviously be pauses every now and then, but for me, to achieve continuously continuous mi mining, the machine needs to be progressing forward by a minimum of uh, 40 centimeters, or about, say, 16 inches um, every sort of five minutes or so, four minutes or so, something like that. And you can't really have any downtime. Um, it might be that this machine is just very, very fast, but has periods where it's not doing anything. And, and that's that's kind of what my data is kind of pointing to me and what I'm seeing in Las Vegas. But uh, maybe they have achieved continuous mining. I'm just not seeing how they have achieved it. So what method have they used to achieve continuous mining? But that's not the big thing that we're going to talk about today. But I just wanted to bring that up because um, it's an area that I want to look at more closely. And I'm lacking information as to how they have gone from kind of um, phases of, you know, building and stopping and building and stopping to continuous mining. How have they moved on from that? So let's have a look at our uh, uh, video. Here is the muck that's coming out of our screw conveyor, and that's then going down the conveyor belt. It's a very, very, very wet mix, which is probably how they've achieved uh, some speed improvements. Uh, so, what you can see now is the erector has uh, collected the precast concrete segment, and it is uh, lining it up using those lasers, so those blue laser beams that you, you just noticed there that that is allowing the machine to collaborate like where actually is the segment where is the tunnel lining where does it need to go and then it lines it up and then it inserts it in these white they, they look like uh, protruding bolts are dowels and they are fixed into the tunnel lining those sections at the top those are the uh, hydraulic thrust better term to describe that 
engines come to me. Uh, Fuss cylinders, that's what they are. Fuss cylinders, hydraulic jacks, they are being retracted. Now they're going to be used to push the segment into its slot. single person in that tunnel there's no one watching the machine there's no one um, moving around adapting things changing the conveyor belt extending the conveyor belt extending the the power cables that sort of thing it's all doing this on its own it, it, it's a fully automated process and there's no humans in the mix so that is the erector there that is going to not work. And it just repeats that process five times to assemble a ring beam. And then on the back of that machine is pushed forward. So my question here would be, is the machine mining how many hours of the day is it, is it mining? That would be my question. And based on the day I've seen, it's definitely making more progress than it was last year. Another thing to consider, con consider is this um, spoil that's coming out of the back of the machine is very, very wet. So that indicates that they're either using a ton of foam or some kind of polymer uh, or, or some kind of conditioning agent to, to make this extremely kind of fluid so then it is easier to move out of the machine using these uh, conveyor belt systems um, but based on what we've just seen there that is an incredible achievement because there are significant uh, improvements to be uh, achieved um, advantages to, that are going to be achieved through using this Zbit pro process. I want to learn more about continuous mining, but I'm pretty confident that they'll, they'll do uh, more videos in the future and then we can just kind of knock that off. But um, in terms of advantages, so obviously, obviously it's much, much faster. So a machine can operate much faster for much longer periods of time with greater degrees of accuracy than any human on the planet or more than 99.99% of all humans on the planet. So uh, significant time savings via mechanization and consistency. Just the fact that they're not making mistakes will save them an absolute mountain of time as well. So uh, if you're able to do the process faster, that means that you're not having your overheads on site as longer and um, it just it just saves you you saves you money and it obviously results in the project finishing earlier and um, cost savings much lower labor and operational costs you've not got people in the tunnel um, you still have obviously people uh, essentially piloting the TBM at the surface but it might be that they're piloting six TBMs at the same time um, and a lot of the thinking is done by the the machine um, so really is a much easier job and you don't actually need people physically in the machine now one question um that i wanted to discuss let's just go back to the bit so one thing that i'm not too sure about is that obviously once this segment has been inserted into its position it then also needs to be bolted into the segments that are in the ring beam alongside it now is there a machine that follows up this machine that then bolts them in because th there are openings in the segments you can see a recess in the segment in fact you can see it at the beginning of the video um if you look at the, the walls uh, you 
you can see the recesses in the actual segments. So that means there is space for a bolt to be inserted, which means that, um, no, not that, one. that means that it needs to be, it still needs to be bolted together. Now, I don't see a machine that does that. It might be that, that the tolerances are so good with um, the, the erector that they don't need to do that for several days and then they just have a team come in and then they they do it very rapidly and then they're in and out within four hours uh, because they can just do you know 150 segments very very quickly one after the other but um, that just needs clarifying for, for, for me personally but it, it it's it is possible to do that. That's that's actually probably one of the easier things to do. I've just not seen it happening, so I'm asking the question. Safer, so significantly less exposure to dangerous work environment. Uh, as you know, we've had issues in the past where the tunnels have become um, slightly flooded with the um, with the spoil and the the grout as well. That's another thing that I was going to ask as well. Is 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 how are they injecting grout? Uh, behind the, the tunnel uh, shielding and behind the segments. Uh, is there another machine that follows on from that or do they leave that until um, every few days and then do it all in one big go? Because I've been, I've been told by various sources that you need to do that continuously every sort of 12 to 18 hours to ensure that you don't have settlement at the surface. So unless they found a way of mechanizing that or the machine does it itself, or you have people coming in less often, then technically is that zero people in the tunnel? Well, maybe most of the time, but not all the time. So some questions, but overall impressed. Um, one of the things that's not really been talked about is this is very, very scalable. So you don't need to go to another country and then completely train up a brand new team of people and then have them working in a tunnel and they're still learning on the job and they're making mistakes and... Um, you're having to find people and, and move them to a remote area. So it's scalable because it's essentially robots and it's automated um, and adaptable. Because the machine's making all its own decisions, you can feed the data from the TBM directly into, you know, into the, the control, uh, the, into the control room. And without even one operator looking at it, the machine can make decisions for you. And um, it, it, it'll be thus very adaptable to changing uh, uh, geographic uh, uh, conditions, as it were. So let's have a look at another video. So as you may be aware, Elon Musk was in Saudi Arabia and he was talking about various companies that he runs, um, X and uh, Tesla and SpaceX and then lucky for us he got the boring company about his vision and his dream to yeah. increase productivity for the kingdom of saudi arabia and power up the region and the whole yeah. world with robotics but also on robo taxis so how are we doing on robo taxis uh yeah so really you can think of a car or future cars as being robots on four wheels and um you know i think uh, it would be very exciting to have autonomous vehicles here in the kingdom. Indeed. If you're amenable. You heard it here from Elon. <laughs> He's bringing his robo-taxi to the kingdom. Yeah. Uh, he has another announcement that he's yeah, going to so share ex later. Exactly. So, and I'd, I'd also like to, to uh, thank the kingdom for approving Starlink for maritime and aviation use. Thank maritime you. Maritime and aviation. There you so, go. There you go. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so so you're going to bring us robots to help us increase our productivity, yeah. robo-taxis to make sure that our cars and assets turn, to, turn into a cash-generating unit, yeah. and Starlink, Starlink to reform our aviation and maritime. Yeah. Talk about XAI. Uh, absolutely. And, but I should want to mention also uh, something that may be worth considering is tunnels. Tunnels. Uh, the so Boring I have, Company. I, <laughs> I have this company called The Boring Company. Uh, which sounds kind of boring, but it's, uh, it's, it literally bores tunnels. Um, and actually, uh, tunnels, in, in order to solve traffic, uh, you, you really need to go 3D uh, with roads. And by ha using tunnels, you can essentially create, create like, like a wormhole, like a, like a warp tunnel from one part of a city to another and alleviate traffic. And we're, we've actually already done this proof of concept in Vegas. 
So there are w working tunnels in, Ve in Las Vegas that you can use where um, that'll just, it, it feels like teleporting from one part of Vegas to another. So uh, I always say that, you know, my joke is like tunnels are underappreciated. You know? <laughs> um, you know, it's a bit of a, yeah, not, not always a hit, but. About his vision and his dream. Yeah. Yeah, so that was good that he's mentioning that because he has been fairly quiet on the Boeing Company for a little while there. But um, uh, he, he has been talking about tunneling speed is almost faster than a snail, which is kind of correct. So if we were going to measure the speed of a snail, um, it, it's saying 4.8 meters per hour, which I think is quite... Uh, um, optimistic to say the least but I, let's just say that that's uh that's true um that would be something like 115 meters per day if it's operating 24 hours this snail but um i've seen no evidence really that um that they, they, they've achieved 80 meters I've, I've seen evidence of over 70 meters but I've not seen 80 meters per day. And more importantly, I've not seen consistently um, that Prufock is, is able to achieve, you know, 70, 75 meters day in, day out, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, what I see is a machine that, that, that does well and then struggles and then does well and then struggles. So it, it's, it, it's, it, it's hard to, to kind of say, yeah, it, it's as fast as a snail. It, although to be fair, he said almost. So technically, he's not saying it is faster, but um, it's it's fast. It's fast. But there are definitely improvements to be made. This is not the end product. Proofwalk Five is going to be again another uh, seismic improvement on Proofwalk Four, and they'll fair, fairly uh, refine the the Z pit and the continuous mining. Um, we have spoken in the past about continuous mining and using hexagonal segments or using a gripper TBM and neither of those seem to be in uh, operation for the Boeing company. So you have to ask the question, how are they achieving continuous mining and how are they going to beat a snail um, if they don't use either of those two options? So questions, questions, questions. Um, hard to say if you've got some opinions put them in the comments below hope you liked the video um, it's another good day for the boy company and like I say um, we, we're starting to see insane progress in Las Vegas and uh, I, I'm expecting this whole concept of uh, autonomous vehicles underground moving around a city without, without sitting in traffic to become a huge selling point in the, you know, the, the beginning of next year. And I, I expect that we will see massive interest from a lot of people, a lot of cities. Um, and hopefully that, that does you know boost, boost interest because it's long overdue that this particular company got a bit more attention from the media rather than just negative crap from various people that are obviously paid bad actors. Uh, okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me about your comments about the machine. Have we achieved continuous mining? What do you think about Z-Pit? What do you think about the advantages that I laid out there? Put that in the comments below and tell me what you think. Hope you have a great day and take care now. Prove me wrong and that'd be great. Oh boy, we're gonna have a swell time tonight. Damn, I'm good.